there are several other potential causes for the liver's inability to detoxify efficiently. First, medications. Drugs work specifically on the enzymes in phase one and can stop their ability to detoxify. Secondly, our food choices and lifestyle can impair our liver function. A diet high in sugar and hydrogenated oils, the hallmarks of processed foods, can impede the phase one enzymes. But one of the biggest issues that impairs our ability to detoxify is the overwhelming lack of nutrients the liver needs to function properly. These essential nutrients would include antioxidants and vitamins A, C, and E, and your minerals selenium and magnesium, and also amino acids like glutathione, N-acetylcysteine, glycine, and taurine. Why are we lacking essential nutrients? Because our foods are severely lacking in essential vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and antioxidants. Industrialized methods of farming have depleted our soils of the vital nutrients that we need. That means our food is nutritionally deficient right from the start. So to summarize this, the detoxification process is slowed because of toxic overload, chronic constipation, over-medicating, food and lifestyle choices, and nutrient deficiencies in our food. And what's worse, it may not be just one of these, but for most of us, it is many combined that can disrupt the ability to detoxify. How many of you has someone in your family who's on medications, drinks alcohol, smokes cigarettes, has a bad diet, full of processed foods, and chronic constipation all at the same time? <laughs> well, when the liver is overburdened and unable to keep up, toxins will accumulate in the blood and within the liver cells themselves. This could result in liver inflammation and possibly even fatty liver disease. This is called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and it is one of the fastest growing diseases in America. As the accumulation of toxins increase, the liver cells increase its fat for storage and the fatty degeneration of the liver begins. It is at this point when the liver can't keep up that the body will start storing these excess toxins in other areas. So the fat soluble toxins get stored in our fat cells making us well fatter. Toxins are sent to our muscle cells making us sore and fatigued and toxins are sent to our central nervous system our brain, our bone marrow, our tissues and organs, making us sick, disrupting normal cellular function, and resulting in the development of disease. Mm -hmm.